This week the big news is that Private Browser Brave is introducing a search engine that will be private as well. But what people want to know is, is the Brave Browser really private? We're going to show you. First, let's fire up the Brave Browser and we want to find out the Brave Browser. What browser are we really using? So we'll type in whatismybrowser.com. The Brave Browser uses Chrome 89. Now, who makes Chrome 89? That is a Google product. Right off the bat, you are using a Google product that is installed on your computer. Now the next thing we want to find out is if it's a private browser does it really block trackers and cookies? Okay, So we're going to go up here, we're going to show you the settings that we have our Brave on and you're going to see that we have the highest setting. We have it to block all cookies. All cookies should be blocked, all trackers, we should be completely private. Now, we're going to go to a, a common site that people go to when they want privacy. Let's go to go, we're going to go to web, no, I'm sorry, let's go back. We're going to show you something. This is how you can tell. Pagexray.fouanalytics.com will tell you how many trackers, how many cookies are on a website before you visit it. Okay, so WebMD is a common medical site people go to in medical problems and they use the Brave browser thinking they're private. Now in here you're going to see that on this site there are 583 tracking requests on this site. 583 entity entities are trying to get information about you when you visit the site. Now, and there are plenty, plenty of Google trackers in this flowchart. You can see it's, it's massive. Now, we're on the Brave browser. We have our settings set to block all cookies. So let's go to WebMD. Okay. WebMD.com. And you'll see we had 583 trackers, right? We're going to see how many Brave blocked. 18. 583 on the site, Brave blocked 18. Now look closely, our tracker and ad setting is aggressive. It is the best you can do with the Brave browser. This is blocking as many blockers and trackers as they can, as the browser can. So 583, 18 were blocked. Do you still think you're private? Okay. Now here's another one, and this is the granddaddy, the big one. Can Google track us online? Okay, because Google is on every site you visit. Web analytics, ads, YouTubes, they're everywhere. So let's go, and this is the easiest way you can tell. Now if you're private, you don't mind going to Google because you're private, right? So we go to Google.com, and then we click the Images button. And we click the little camera and then upload an image. Okay, now when you click this choose file button, what that's going to do is purposely, you are purposely connecting to a Google server when you click that. So what it's basically saying is Google is accessing your computer. It's not a question of if you want to, it's the ability to. Can Google access your computer. You are choosing to do it in this case, but on every site you visit, you're not. So when we click Choose File, that is my computer. What that's showing you, it's proving to you. Google can see and touch your computer on every website they have script on, which is almost every website. 
Oh, I, I know what you're saying. I don't use Google. I don't use Google Search or YouTube. It doesn't matter. Google is on every website you visit. It's a really easy way to, uh, to find that, but we'll do that in another video. Now, finally, does the Brave browser leave evidence on your device? Because that's a big key component with private browsing. You don't want other people to know what sites you visited. So we're going to go down here and we're going to go into our C drive because that's where the browser's really held. Okay? And we go to users, that's me, that's me. And we're going to go to app data. We go to local. We go to Brave software. We go to the Brave browser. User data. Now, are you ready for this? It's the default button. And you can see all of the data that has been captured while you browse. Three, seven, this is today's date. Look at all the data that is on your computer. So I'm going to ask you this. Is the Brave browser really private? You ask yourself that. We just proved it. You can do this for yourself. We wanted to show you that the Brave browser isn't private like you think it is. Now, next up, we're going to show you what a true private browser really is. Okay, now we're going to show you the only way to be completely private and secure while you browse. That's with Trace Free. There's really only two things you need to know. We know that Google script is on every website. It is impossible to visit a site without Google following that device and browser. Okay, that's a key part here. You cannot prevent them from tracking the device. With Trace Free, they're tracking a server, not your computer. We're going to prove it to you here. We're going to go to Google just like we did with the Brave browser, go to google.com, then we go to images, and then a little camera, upload an image. Now, do you remember before when we clicked browse, it opened up our laptop, our computer? That was my computer. So it's just showing you Google can, can access your device. Now in this case, we're gonna click the browse button. Watch what happens. It is connecting or touching the trace-free server, not your device. So you can't block the cookies and trackers that Google has. They're everywhere, everywhere. But in this case, when you're using trace-free, they're tracking the trace-free server and not your device. So you are always private. Finally, this is the two things that matter. Can Google see and touch your device? They can't with Trace Free. And then we're going to go back to this. We'll show you. There's no evidence on your device either. Users, Scott, that's me. We go to App Data and we go to Local. Oops. And we go down here to Trace Free 2. We have a one kilobyte file. That's all. That's a tiny little file. All it says is someone on this device used trace free. And that is all it says. So Google cannot track your computer while you use trace free. And there's also no browsing history, evidence, cookies, cache, nothing on your computer. So we ask you, is trace free private? or is brave. We think we've proven Trace Free is truly a private browser. Brave? Eh, not so much.